Hello everyone, my name is Anurag Shrikar and I am going to show you my uh, Google Sheet certification. So I had to make a library management and so I had to do this. So I just made it over here. I gave the library title the great library and I added five people and um, so there's student number, their name, class and their book ID, their book name and which category it was, rental price, date issued, number of days and total amount. So I made it and I have also done this, I have frozen these two first two layers and so if I scroll down still they are over there. I have frozen the first three layers. So I have made this, so uh, I merged these first two uh, layers over here. All of these I have merged and I wrote the great library. For merging, I selected these two rows and then I clicked on over, over here to merge them. Then I wrote create library and I increased the size and this is the font. Next, I added filters. So currently, it's in, I have done A to Z name wise, I can do Z to A. And I added the uh, alternating colors from here. I added this one and I changed the top one to red. I also did conditional formatting for this. Let me select it. I did right click and here there is conditional formatting. I clicked it. And uh, for this I will show you. I did the color scale for the prices. Yes, and for the prices, uh, as you can see, mm, they are G4 for this one, G4 multiplied by I4, which is G4 is this, which is the rent per day and number of days multiplied to form this, and then I scrolled it down so that each and every cell gets it and the prices were distributed same for each cell mm. and I froze this uh, by these three rows I froze by selecting the uh, by uh, putting my cursor over here then from the view I froze from here up to current row 3 so they got froze and it looked nice Next, I added uh, this this currency over here. Currency format as currency, and from the format section number, I changed it into Indian rupee. Means from here to more currencies, and I searched for Indian rupee, and I applied it. And over here, I did the date formatting, which is from here. Uh, sorry, I changed the date from here to date and time and made it 10 October 2017 and uh, I added uh, this filter which was from this side, this filter I added from here. So, and I also increased the cell's length so that it looks good. And I also added this border all around it. All around border this I chose. So, hope you like my video and thanks for watching.